Okay, Danny from Hungary, I take it. Um, the book Why Machines Will Never Rule the World makes a philosophical and technical argument about the limits of AI and the impossibility of many of the claims being made. I'd love to see um, uh, 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 more about this or this discussed on objectives forums. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, basically I agree with what the book is trying to say, although I'm not sure I agree with the argument that they're particularly making. I, I haven't read the book. I've just, I, I've just basically looked at a, um, at a summary of what the book says. But I, I, I think that the whole idea of um, AI gaining what's called um, uh, you know, artificial general intelligence is ultimately impossible. I don't think uh, general, uh, artificial general intelligence or what human beings have I don't think can be reduced to zeros and ones in the sense of it cannot be reduced to mathematics. I think it, it has something to do with biology in a way that I don't think we yet understand. Um, I think the only way you are going to create artificial intelligence is by, uh, by using biology. That is uh, by using uh, cells and, and uh, by using uh, uh, potentially brain cells or, 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 or something like that or creating... Uh, life, uh, human beings creating life. I think it has to be sentient. It has to have consciousness to, to actually be intelligent in the way human beings are intelligent. There has to be consciousness. Uh, consciousness, as far as we can tell in the universe, only is connected with living beings. Um, computers are not alive. They cannot be conscious. So, so again, I think in order to get to the point where artificial intelligence has the capabilities that some people are so afraid of, it's going to have to be, again, it's going to have to be biological. And um, that's not in the cards anytime soon. Uh, so, so yes, I, I, I think that's absolutely right. Now, whether, I mean, this book, which is selling for $130 hardcover, $42 paperback, $37 in Kindle, Why Machines Will Never Rule the World. Artificial Intelligence Without Fear. I like the title. Jobst Langreb and Barry Smith are the authors. Um, you know, it's probably over my head, so I'm probably not going to buy it. It's probably too mathematical for me. But it is an interesting topic. It is a topic I think objectivists have a lot to contribute to, both in terms of the philosophy and the integration with the mathematics and the biology of it. Uh, so I encourage people to read. It strikes me, just again, reading about this, that I agree with the conclusions. Uh, you know, the, the, they, they say there are two reasons for the claim that artificial general intelligence cannot be created. One is human intelligence is a capacity of a complex dynamic system, the human brain and central nervous system. I think that's right. I would add to that, it's biological and it requires consciousness. And uh, without life and consciousness, you cannot have artificial general intelligence. It's not mathematical. You can't model it mathematically. And then the second reason is systems of this sort cannot be modified mathematically in a way that allows them to operate inside a computer. Again, that makes sense to me, but I don't know that because I, I can't prove it. I, I, I wouldn't know where to even start thinking about how to prove something like that. So this is beyond my, um, what do you call it, uh, my um, pay scale. Uh, but I do encourage people who are interested in this. I do encourage objectivists who are interested in, in uh, philosophy of consciousness, who are interested in, in math and science and, and interested in AI, to look into this book and, and uh, examine it. It does look like a fascinating, fascinating book. Pay grade, pay grade, thank you, above my pay grade. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.